It's time to stay ahead of the game and on top of your health. We stopped by Mercy Health Center of Excellence at TQL Stadium to learn about the physical therapy services available not only for athletes, but for you too. My name is Matt Bosom. I'm the Chief Medical Officer for FC Cincinnati and an orthopedic surgeon with Mercy Health. So my formal role is Chief Medical Officer for FC Cincinnati. So the scope of that role is actually very broad. I am an orthopedic surgeon and sports medicine specialist. So principally I'm in charge of the musculoskeletal care of our athletes. But in the eyes of Major League Soccer, the Chief Medical Officer is actually in charge of all medical care for every aspect of the team. So we work collaboratively with other specialists, but everything that happens, I have to effectively sign off on or be a part of. The Center of Excellence at TQL Stadium, where, where we service uh, the general population as, as well as our FC athletes, uh, is unique in that it's really performance-based. Our goals are to get athletes and high-functioning individuals back to the highest level of performance that we can. And the tools that we have on the physical therapy side from an assessment standpoint and from a treatment standpoint are the same tools that we use for our professional athletes but that's available to the general public. So on the professional side the most common injuries we see are what we call soft tissue injuries. They involve the large muscles of the leg, the hamstrings, the quadriceps, the adductor muscles and the calves. And those are some very significant injuries in our athletes who have to run at a very high rate of speed for oftentimes 90 minutes over the course of, uh, of a match. And those injuries can be more mild in, in the sense of a, of a slight pull or more devastating in a complete tear of those muscles. And across all professional soccer, those injuries account for the most missed time. On the scholastic level, we often see things like ankle sprains or small fractures. Uh, we'll also see very significant knee injuries, including the anterior cruciate ligament, meniscal injuries, or collateral ligament injuries. And those can be very devastating injuries as well. My goal when I went into medicine was to try to help others, um, but also find something that was interesting for me. As an active person, uh, I was drawn to other people trying to get back to an active lifestyle, and orthopedics seemed to fit that mold. I liked uh, the idea of intervening on a surgical way, but also being able to help people non-surgically, uh, and so those were some very appealing things to me uh, in that field. From the standpoint of being a physician who was born in Cincinnati, raised in Cincinnati, who now works in Cincinnati, the most rewarding thing is being a part of the community and taking care of the community that you're a part of. It sounds redundant, but the same people that I see in the office are people that I might see at church or at school with my kids or at the grocery store or, or at a game. And there is an incredible responsibility to take care of people who know you, who are gonna continue to see you. you know, they aren't people who are flying in from far away and I'm never gonna see them again. These are people that I have to be responsible to all the time. And sometimes these are the same people who saw me when I was this tall and expect to see me when I'm, you know, have less hair and, and, and more gray in my beard. Um, but it's a real privilege to be able to take care of the people that you, you live with and grew up with.